Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, and if you guys are new here, then hi, hello, and what's up? So today we are going to be letting you guys in on some questions you guys have, um, just answering some personal questions as for us as a couple, for you guys to get to know us and our family and how we met and stuff like that. So um, without further ado, um, the first question is... How did we meet? Uh, do you want to take over or do you want me to like start it out? Yeah. Okay, so technically like a first first met or like, what would you say it is when Just we first met? Just give the whole backstory. Okay, so um, when I moved to Arizona, by the way, another question really fast. Where do we live? We live in Arizona. So just so you guys know, we live in Arizona. For those of you who don't know, I know I've mentioned it in my channel before. We live in Arizona. But um, when I moved to Arizona, um, I had a girl babysit me down the street. And I was six years old. And um, the girl that you would babysit me was... Were they together at the time? I don't know. I'm not sure entirely, but yeah. Um. Anyways, her and his older brother were like dating kind of. So that's how we would run into each other because she used to babysit me. But him and I officially met when I was 10 and he was 11. And um, I we lived in an apartment complex and I was walking to do laundry. And he was up on the balcony and he was like, hey hey like screaming down to me and like I'm 10 and I'm like walking and I'm so like nervous because he's calling down to me and he was like you got a boyfriend <laughs> and I didn't say anything because I was just so nervous I just completely ignored him and I walked in and I did my laundry and I walked back and like I just remember going into my house and my heart was pounding so hard and I was like oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> That's when we, like, first, like, he's first said anything to me. I was 10. And then, um, when did we, like, actually, like, meet me? I it's think probably, it's, like, a little while after that. Yeah, not long, not long after that. Probably a couple weeks. Because, because my sister was dating his friend. Um, uh, and my he best lived, at the time. yeah, he lived below me in the apartments across the way. And, um, we met him, like, super shortly after me and Josh had that experience, and then we all kind of became friends, and then we all just kind of used to hang out all the time together. So that's how we met when we were little, and we've just been, like, best friends all throughout the years, you know? Like, we became super close, and we were just best friends for, like, ever. Would you say, wouldn't you say so? Yeah, for a long time. Uh, we tried doing the whole dating scene many times before that. Yeah. She wasn't really into it. I was just too young to really appreciate anything. Um, I definitely pushed him away a, every single time that he'd get too close to me. I didn't really know how to allow anybody in and, like, able to really love me and give me that love. And we were just so young, and he just loved me so much that I just didn't really know how to how to handle it. Like, I didn't know how much, like, love I could, like, I don't know. I didn't even love myself. Like, I couldn't share that love with anybody else. So, like, we just stayed friends for a long time, but honestly, I'm really glad because I don't think I would have appreciated our relationship as much as I do now. And now I'm like, I've grown so much that I'm able to give you the love that you deserve, you know, which I couldn't back then. I was just too young and careless, you know? And then we just kind of broke apart after that. Yeah, and we, we were went in and out of each ways, other's lives. Pop in and out every once in a while. Yeah. Kind of went down separate paths. I was a little bit of a troublemaker. and uh, Done with all that now. Of course, we had our other partners, stuff like that. At yeah, we times. had other relationships and stuff. And then, um, which probably brings us to our next question, is if we have any kids. And so here's a bit of a story. Um, 
as we were off with our other partners, stuff like that, just kind of figuring out life. Um, I, I was with a few different people. She was with a few different people. Um, I did end up, um, taking the father role of a child, uh, while he was still in the woman's belly. Um, we're not going to say any names just yeah, yeah, because no. we're not trying to bash anybody or anything like that be negative or anything. So we're just going to disclose the mother's name. That and, doesn't uh, even know the situation. Obviously know who we're talking about. She, uh, she was not the greatest person, I guess. Um, not really sure why I had two kids with her, but I have two kids. Felicity has none as of now. We do plan on having, uh, kids together. Not sure how many, but we want to expand our family at some point. Um, as of right now, we're just kind of raising the two that we have together. Um, their mother isn't no longer in the picture. Um, I'm actually currently fighting for, um, to terminate her rights as a parent. Um, she is currently in prison for multiple drug charges, stuff like that. So, um, we're just kind of trying to get her out of the picture, pretty much. They were super, super young when she went into prison. And um, they don't really know her much. My older son, he's four, just turned four. Um, at the end of, or the beginning of March. Yeah. And um, my younger son is two. And he'll turn three at the end of May. So they were very young when she was in there. She's already been in there a little over two years and she'll be in there for the next three. Um, so yeah, I I have kids, but she doesn't. Um, they look at her as she is their mother and um, they call her City because that's just kind of how we all introduced and we just knew each other as a City. Mm -hmm. um, they have told her before that she is their mom but they don't call her mom they just call her city which is fine we're all okay with it that's just what i'm known by you right know? yeah that's just that's just what i call her yeah and, everybody and calls me city, city so, so they they don't hear the words mom they don't know exactly who what mom, mom is. is right so i think that once i do have a child that is mine and they hear my biological child call me mom then they'll be more questionable on why they don't call me mom but as of right now it's just city and i've explained to them that that's completely okay that they don't have to call me mom that it's completely up to them but yeah i'm just they will come city. eventually uh their names is blazely and uh spelled b-l-a-z-e capital l-e-e -E. so um most people get it all twisted yeah. up and wrong and but whatever. Most people call him Blaze, which is fine. Mm -hmm. um, the younger son is Carter. Uh, I've already said their ages, but they're, they're super my best fun. Friends. Yeah, the best friends. We do nothing with adult life people. No. We just, we just hang out with our kids and do, yeah. do fun stuff with them. Go to the zoos, parks, picnics, everything in the book. So, um, yeah. That's pretty much on the kids. You guys will eventually meet them, yeah. hopefully, someday soon. We'll probably do like a QA and a with them where we're just asking them questions. You yeah. guys can kind of get a hold of them and So if you guys have any questions you guys want to ask them or have any more questions for us, feel free to comment down below or you're welcome to reach out to me on my Instagram. I know that a lot of people tend to do that instead, which is completely fine as well. My Instagram is linked down below and will be right here in this video. Just no funny business. <laughs> But, um, moving on, off a serious note, um, do we have any animals together? Yeah, we got some animals. Mm -hmm. We got, uh, two bearded dragons, which are a pain in the ass, and, oh. uh, we got one ball python, little baby snake. Yeah, I'll um, insert pictures for you guys. Yeah, we'll, we'll show you guys them. Um, we had them, all three of them, since they're little tiny yeah. babies, the snake, uh, somebody... Somebody had purchased the snake for their kids, but their kids were just never really into it after a couple of days. And so it was just kind of abandoned and didn't really take care of it very well. So yeah, I'm more of like a reptile person. Definitely. So, we're not allowed to have dogs where we live. So no right. dogs. We're not allowed to have cats. Um, no we're animals, not supposed pets. to have animals at all. But um, 
We were approved for the snakes and lizards. <laughs> yeah. Just abruptly. Uh, I guess we caught the rental agency by surprise yeah. when they did inspections. They said as long as they never come out of the cages, it Which should be Which they're not fun. running around or anything. Yeah, they're not so. wild. They're in cages, enclosures. Yeah, tanks. They're happy. They're healthy. We so, want to get a big fish tank, and that would be yeah. really cool to surprise the kids. So maybe we can make like a cool video of surprising the kids with a fish tank or something. Yeah, we'll... Picking out fish and stuff. That'd yeah, be we'll, really fun. We'll set it up with you yeah. guys. Yeah. Um, um, so yeah, we have just two lizards and a snake. Yeah. Have, um, the snake is named Dusa. Yeah, like Medusa. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And then we have one. When we had purchased the lizards, we were told that they were both females, which it turns out as they got older, it was easier to find out that one was male and one was female. Mine's a boy. <laughs> yeah, Cities is a boy, mine's a girl. And so uh, we named them both female names, which is kind of screwed well, up. Well, mine can definitely be a boy name. Mine's a Zenny. Because when he was a baby, he'd go like this and, like, do little arm circles. And I was like, that's so zen. Like, he's doing yoga. So I named him Zenny. And then Josh's girl is named Buffy because it's short for buffet. <laughs> because all she ever did was eat. All she, she's still, all she ever does is eat. And she'll eat literally anything that we give her. So it's short for buffet. <laughs> really fast she'll eat it. Oh, She's always quick, the first one to the bowl. Quick. Um... And if you guys see in the tank that there's not a water dish, um, turns out most of you may or may not know, uh, bearded dragons, they don't drink from a water dish. So no. don't like panic and think like we're not taking care of them. We're not giving them water. Yeah. Um, they actually have spikes and, um, stuff on their head that acts as water pathways. Mm -hmm. And you just lightly mist on their heads with water from a spray bottle, stuff like that. That'll actually... Uh, they're direct paths for water to lead into their mouth, and yeah, that's how they drink. It's so cool. They don't drink from a dish, nothing like that. You just lightly spray them with water, and that's how they drink. Um, they are called bearded dragons because when they are mad, they puff out their beard, and yeah, it and gets it super so big black. and super dark, like a dark black. It's makes crazy, them look more intimidating. Ours fight so much, and I don't know why. Um, but they just fight a lot and you'll see them. I'll try to catch it on camera. They don't fight. They necessarily just have, uh, disagreements, they I fight. suggest. Uh, just because they say that, uh, your enclosure should have a hot side and then a cool side. So which they can, does. they can, uh, pick on which area they want to bask. That's what yeah. they call it when they sit under the light. And, uh. Normally, some of them, they sometimes they don't want to share the light, so yeah, they just they push, push each, each other, other off and they piss each other off. Um, but they don't really fight much. They're just constantly trying to mate because of the yeah. fact that they're enclosed, so they mate lizards year long. don't have breeding seasons. They just mate all year long because in an enclosure, it's just one season all year long. So they think that they can mate whenever the hell they feel like it. Yeah, and it looks pretty aggressive, like they may be trying to kill each other, but they're not. Um, we, they both lived together ever since they were born babies. Yeah. So they're more best friends than anything. They're really cool. I'll show you guys them. Yeah, I have some pictures. Okay. Um, how long have we lived together? We lived together for a while. Yeah. For a little while. Well, when me and Felicity, I, I left my, uh, kids' mom because of the whole drug situation, stuff like that. And then, um... Felicity is kind of like a go-to. She's always been a really good friend, somebody easy to talk to, um, cry to, or whatever needed to happen. And so we just kind of, I just kind of went to her when everything was real rough. Uh, my kid's mom would cheat on me and just yeah. do a bunch of crazy shit. Um, so I'd go to Felicity for a lot, and then uh, we were just kind of best friends, inseparable, and uh, I wasn't allowed to see my kids for a while because yeah. uh, their mom would say that I was on drugs, stuff like that. And so just she'd keep them from me. Just to kind of keep them from Just him. to keep them from me, just to be be obnoxious. But uh, that only happened for like maybe like 20-something days. And then uh, she, <clears throat> she finally hung herself with a lot of rope that uh, was given to her and went down the wrong path, sold some drugs to undercover cops, and now she's in prison for a while. And... So me and Felicity just kind of went about life and 
Um, everything was completely platonic until about... Like, we lived together before we were even together. <clears throat> right. Just because he came to me as a friend and I let him stay with me because she was constantly kicking him out and he didn't have anywhere to go. So, um, I lived with my dad at that point. So, um, he moved in with me and, um, it was strictly friendship and everything, um, for a while. <laughs> yeah, we were, we were, yeah, we were inseparable and we, were we just, just kind best of friends. best friends and we did everything like we would together. even shower and bathe together. Like, and completely we never naked. like had any type of like sex. We never kissed each other. We never nothing. We were just like there you know like we loved each other and we have so much love for each other but we didn't want to take any type of steps like that until we were ready and wholeheartedly ready and with him going through everything he was going through we knew that it wasn't our time so we were just best friends and um then it happened <laughs> shut up <laughs> no but um we lived together probably about three four years now yeah, probably in total. We like, bounced around a couple places. We lived in our cars for a little while. Yeah, we lived at my dad's house. We both became homeless and were living out of our cars. And then we finally got our first apartment and lived in our apartment for like over a year. And then we got our home, which this is our house. And we've lived here um, over a year now. It marked a year on February 14th. We got our house on Valentine's Day. So it's been over a year now. And... Um, we're going strong so we've lived together for a really long time um that kind of answers like kind of how long we've been together that's the next question is how long have we been together in a relationship we officially in a relationship we've only been together it will be two years on april 19th um that's officially but as you, we just explained to you guys we've lived together previously beforehand for a long period of time so it was kind of like we were in a relationship but we weren't um so just platonic yeah we were just platonic. so we don't know if we really count like the whole amount of time yeah even though we weren't intimate or if we just count like the times that we were intimate and uh, yeah. i actually asked her to be my girlfriend um yeah it's kind of it kind of sounds complicating um but it's always an adventure with us. Yeah. And we just kind of go with the flow and whatever happens, happens. And we deal with it then. Yeah. Um, we never really stress the next day or what's coming next. We just kind of... Take it day by day. We're each other's shield and we just we just deal with life. Yeah. I like to live by the code of just, just keep moving forward. Always smile. Be happy. You never know what tomorrow's going to bring. Don't stress it until it gets yeah. here you never know it could be a blessing or it could be the worst day that you experience uh i don't like to be angry or mad a whole lot i don't like to raise my voice um i'm a pretty mellow person i don't stress yeah. over a whole lot of situations He's really i just kind of deal with it and i've done 26 weeks of anger management and i don't want to go back yeah because past situations yeah but with exes and stuff uh, I'm a different guy today. My my kids definitely changed me into being being the best me that I can be. And I'm going to grow the best children that I can and raise them yeah. to be the best gentleman that I can. So. They're amazing. They're great little boys. I'm so excited for you guys to get to meet them and share those adventures with them because they're just, they're just so fun. And I've been in their lives. So I met Blaisley, the oldest um before he was one is when i met him and then i met carter like days after he was born yeah. but we got them um full time full time when carter was six months old and blazy was just after one a little over one yeah so i'm really all they like know you know and so that's another reason why like we've stayed so close as well through everything that we've been through because I've grown such a strong relationship with his kids to the point where they depend on me and I don't want to let them down. And I, I, I've grown so strong with them that I could never just, even if him and I don't work out, I could never just walk away and leave them. Like I sit here and I call those kids mine I could never just walk away. Like, it, it, I couldn't. Because I consider those kids as, they're my kids. 
I tell everybody that I have two kids because I signed up for them. They are my kids. I love them with everything that I am and they make me so much better of a person than I could ever be. And they make me feel so loved and I just cherish every single second with them. And they're just, they're my best friends. I do everything with them. Not only that, she's, she's like, it's crazy to say, but City's been involved in their lives longer than their actual mother has. So uh, there's not much left really to say after that. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just make sure that if you're, or if you're young and, and you want to have kids, just make sure it's with the right person yeah. and you guys really want it because it sucks to have to go through that, not only for you, but especially for your children. It really does kind of screw with them a little yeah. bit, uh, changes their attitude, stuff like that. And all it does is really get them in trouble. Yeah. It, it just causes unnecessary chaos. So just make sure if you're going to have kids, just make it with the right person because it's a lot of money and time and effort yeah, to have to I go mean, into this stuff. Yeah, I we're super young. Like, I'm only 21. Josh is only 22. So we are very young. And a lot of people who aren't parents are going through, have just different lives, you know? They're still, like, partying or in college or getting to live that young life. And we don't get to do those things. We we're in bed by no later than nine. Like we're, we have that structure and balance and parent life, you know, like that's the life that we live. We've got kids. Every decision we make has to be, hold on, like where do the kids fit in in this? Any trip, any, anything we do. So like definitely make sure it's easy to sit there and be in a relationship and just feel completely love struck, but just sit back and I, like, I really push for you to think, like, are you lusting over this person or do you really want to spend the rest of your life with this person? Because to lay down and have a kid with somebody is the most vulnerable thing that you can put yourself through. And it affects literally every day after that. And so I just really press that. And this is not us condoning, like, young couples to have babies or anything like that like no nothing against people who are 100% I mean obviously look at us <laughs> but um definitely think about things before you do them that's the best advice I could give you and if it happens just kind of unplanned uh just be the best parent yeah just be, be the best parent you can be and and don't ever try to keep your kids away from their other parent yeah. if they are trying if they're not trying um just just don't don't bad mouth the other person yeah. a lot because it just kind of screws with your kids' head. They don't really know which direction to turn, stuff like that. But um, I've never once said anything bad to my kids about their mother. They, they I just, just don't, don't talk really bring about it, it up. At all. And, and if, if that's how you choose to do it, then that's probably the greatest way to do it. But uh, yeah, just don't ever bad mouth. And just, I noticed here where we are, we're a very small town where we're at in Arizona. Yeah. And, and I feel like, a lot of the women, not I can't really say that. I just feel like a lot of young like young people have kids for the attention part of it, and then once the kids out into the real life, it just kind of really it just it really dismiss the whole situation and the whole child itself, and then it ends up in either foster homes where there's not enough uh, care providers to even take these kids, so they just end up in the system or juvenile detention or shelters for however long of their lives and it's not really fair to them because they didn't choose to be here yeah but um bottom line just make sure it's something that you want and it's with the right person and if it doesn't happen just make it make it for the best uh interest of your kid rather than you if you want to be stubborn or the other party if they want to be either either good or bad just just make sure it's in the best interest of the kid yeah Definitely. it's a lot harder than what it looks like you there's routines every day with every kids, day. every day, and if you let them slip out of routine a little bit, you have to start all over. Then again. it's just like starting over. Uh, potty training isn't any kind of fun. No. Stuff like that. There's We're a lot to it. Right There's now. a lot to it. It's more mouths to feed. You gotta work. You can't just live off, you know, government stuff like that. It's just, hard. Just gotta do it. I work six days a week, every day, just to keep this house and everything that we have. Yeah. Keep my kids happy and healthy. But um. I have a decent job, so I'm able to. Thank God. Um, do it while, you know, City stays home with the kids and does their schooling now with the whole pandemic, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, we do homeschooling. I have 
meetings with teachers two, twice a week, Zoom meetings with teachers. It's that a just lot. goes on and on. Yeah. So we're busy and we don't get to go out and hang out with friends a lot. We honestly don't really have too many friends. We just kind of have each other and family members. That's pretty much it. But um, it's easier that way and it's less drama that way. And I can honestly say that I'm really happy um, with our lives and I'm content. And I don't know. I'm just. And we don't have happy. too much family around us, I suppose. No. Uh, I'm the youngest of four. Uh, I have an older brother and then a set of twins in the middle mm -hmm. and then me, um, which kind of probably leads us to the next question on if we're ever going to stay in Arizona yeah. for the remainder of our lives. Um, it's a very huge possibility. I have a sister that is uh, part of the twins that uh, uh, lives in Michigan. And Michigan trip coming soon. <laughs> yes, yes. Subscribe for, for our Michigan vlogs. It's going to be um, a blast. She lives in Michigan. We're going out there pretty soon on the yeah. 14th of April, actually. We're going to be out there for her birthday the very next day, April 15th. Um, and then our anniversary, April 19th. Yay. Um, Yay. Hopefully we could do some fun stuff. And we'll be back May 1st, back into Arizona. Yep. Um, the, the brothers I have, um, kind of a crappy situation. Um, my oldest brother just recently went to jail for some stupid stuff. Um, yeah. And my uh, brother, that's the other twin, He's he's been in prison for quite some time now. Mm -hmm. um, so I never really had my siblings around. Uh, my family struggled with drug drug addiction very, very vigorously for a long time of my life. Uh, I didn't have the best childhood because of it. But um, we're just... We're just doing stuff on our own. City yeah. has her dad and a sister, but her sister's got her own life, own family. She yeah, just had she just had baby. a baby a couple of days ago. Um, I, my dad also had a baby, and um, so I have a little brother as well who just turned two. Um, but as of that, I have a couple cousins and stuff in town that I honestly don't talk to really. We're not really that close of a family anymore like we used to be. And then my mom and I have an older brother that live out in Vegas. And then my family's just kind of really scattered around. We're not close at all. Um, the closest family member I'm close with is my sister and my dad, obviously. Um, but other than that, I, we just aren't really that close-knit either. So it's kind of just us, you know? We had to grow up really fast. Yeah. Figure life out very fast. Still haven't got it fit quite figured out yet, but... We're trying our yeah, best. Yeah, for for what it is, we're I think we're doing really well. Um, I don't know. We just kind of decided to do YouTube as as like just kind of like a hobby or just yeah. something to do, really, just to kind I've of. I've always wanted to start a channel and just share my life with people and just be some type of light or distraction in someone else's life, so whatever they're going through or somebody that to turn to if you guys ever need somebody to talk to or because I know that whenever I'm down in in the dumps because I mean nobody's perfect I do go, go to YouTube and I do like distract myself with a lot of videos and I hope to be the best person I can for you guys to lean on and to show like we don't ever want to be fake to you guys. This is like real stuff. We're not perfect. We do have our arguments. We do have our bickerments. We are not 100% like go giddy all the time, but that's real. And that's what I want to be for you guys. I don't want to constantly be like, try to be picture perfect because that's just unrealistic. And um, I hope you guys see that through my videos. So much more to come yeah. though. We're freshly new in this stuff. I'll be honest, we'll see some more into it than what i am that's why she's in a lot more of the videos solo rather than me too but i'll just have my spurts and stuff of where i'm like yeah let's just let's film let's and i'm like video. really you want to film <laughs> and then it just kind of goes from there but i don't know there's more to come we want to yeah. do like pranks and and just a lot of fun stuff and we'll introduce the kids and we'll do more vlogs with the kids park days you know zoos or whatever may yeah may be coming up our channel is slowly growing and I cannot thank you guys enough for your guys' continuous support and I love to see our little family grow on here. Um, 
slowly but surely. Um, this is not for how many views I get or how many subscribers I get because even if there's just one person on there that I'm helping out or just being some type of light for, that's worth every penny. Um, I don't know. It's not about the negative. Yeah. It's about the positive. You can't, there's not a whole lot in life. I think I've already said that. Not a whole lot in life that really phases us or puts us down or yeah. anything like that. We just shut it off and we just go about our day. We we're definitely not here, lean on each other a lot. We're not here for, for the negative. Even if we're inspiring one person to get up and be a better person that next morning, then hey, that's a it's win for it. us. And so we just, we just do what we do day by yeah. day. We don't plan months ahead, weeks, days. We just no wake up in the morning and whatever is <laughs> Nothing there. Nothing ever goes to plan. But Nothing. when you have small children, you can't you plan can't. the next day because you don't know what is don't to know. come. Yeah, you don't know. But, but yeah. Huge thanks to City because she deals with a lot of the unplanned <laughs> situations and catastrophes sometimes that comes with the kids and whether they're puking pooping yeah. or whatever you know down through the house or whatever it may be but um hope you guys stick around hope we gain more followers and yeah you guys will be seeing me a lot more hopefully yes and and the kids a lot more hopefully we'll yeah, post another video of a q a with the kids yeah just so we can get to know them a little bit better too and see the cute little faces yeah they're cute they're super cute they're cute well I think that sums up our video. We don't want this to be too long. It's already yeah. 30 minutes. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys have any further questions for anything that we've talked about or just any questions in general about us or our family, feel free to reach out to me and ask. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like this video. And we will see you guys next time. Peace out, YouTube.